Hello, welcome to Teresa Crafts Some More. My name is Teresa, and today we're going to be making two crafts for kids, or the kids can make the crafts with you. So, one of the crafts we'll be making is a jellyfish lantern, and the other craft we're going to make is a starry night lantern. So, the first thing we're going to get started on is the jellyfish, and I have blown up a balloon. You can blow it up to any size you want if you want to make your jellyfish a little smaller. And I forgot my felt pen. I am going to take a felt pen and I'm going to draw a line around the balloon about halfway down just so I have a, a marking spot on how far down I want to come with the paper mache. And this isn't going to be like a big hard paper mache craft, it'll be fairly easy. So I'm just going to kind of go around and give me a line to go by. So now I have my line on there and I have a can right now and I just happen to have a coffee can and you can find some kind of container to stick your balloon in while you paper mache and it's just, just going to help hold the balloon in place so it's not flopping all around while you're trying to paper mache. So in a bowl I've taken uh, one cup of all purpose flour one cup of water and two tablespoons of salt and I've mixed that up and you can kind of see how liquidy it is and and I've cut um, up several pieces of tissue paper different colors and you can pick whatever colors you want and I also have several uh, squares of computer paper I've cut. I'm going to start off by dipping the paper mache, I mean the paper mache, the um, computer paper in the mixture, kind of taking off the excess amount on the paper and putting it on my balloon. And as I put it on, I'm going to just overlap the paper just a little bit. And I want to cover the whole balloon, you know, up to this line. And I'm going to, um, It might go over the line just a little bit, that's okay. That's just giving me an area. So the kids could help out with this. All right, so I got the first layer done. Um, the salt in the flour mixture is to help keep it from going moldy too. That's what that's for. And this layer is gonna take a little bit longer. The next layer is not gonna be the flour mixture. It's gonna be something different. But this one's going to take about eight hours to dry, so we're going to go ahead and leave it, and then we're going to get back to it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on the uh, Starry Night Lantern. And I've seen somebody do this a long time ago, like years ago. <laughs> so, anyway, so I have a, a glass jar, and I'm going to take some aluminum foil. going to measure it around the jar and we want to go um, about an inch over or a little more than that even um, because we're going to be uh, overlapping it just slightly and now we're just going to cut that off.
Okay. Now we're gonna poke holes in the jar with my nail. You could use um, a paper clip or maybe a wooden skewer. So we're just gonna poke holes all over. Um, you make different sizes. Maybe a little bit bigger. We're just gonna fill it up. And if you don't mind the kids doing this part, the kids could do this. So now we're going to lay the jar on here. I have some double-sided foam tape. This tape was in my husband's work van, so it looks a little dirty. <laughs> Just ignore that part. So we've got that on there. And I want it on tight and then I don't want it loose. Overlapping a little bit here. Let me even out this foil right here. And I'm going to take three more pieces of the double sided foam tape. Or however many you need, depends on the size of your jar. bottom of my jar. So. and go one up here. This is where these grooves are, but I'll go ahead and put one right there. All right, pull the other side of the tape off. This really is so simple. The only um, thing that takes a long time is just sitting there punching some holes in the foil, but it really isn't that big of a deal.
I thought this was a really neat uh, kids summer craft since we are getting ready to go into summer here soon. I'm not looking forward to that just because I don't like the weather but um I like the winter and the fall I think the best. So I'm trying to pull it tight, and I'm going to press it down on there. Press on that one. There we go. And then on the final one right here. Okay. I'll come here if I took off the other side of that one. All right. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to start just folding in the bottom of this foil. It just, you know, it's pretty long, so maybe I will just take off a little bit of it. I don't want to take off too much, but I'll take off a little bit. All right, so I'm just gonna start pushing this in tight. Now my foil ripped just a little bit right there. Um, I don't think it'll show though. Okay, so press it down. Now I'm gonna go ahead with the, the top part and I'm gonna cut some of that off too. I want a little bit to fold over the top rim into the inside of the jar, but not too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down some. I think that's too much. Pull up a little. I mean, the foil is what's holding it in, just the pushing it down. There's no gluing this foil down or anything like that. It'll just hold it down. Press it in really good. Now, as far as looks go, right now it just looks like a jar covered in foil. It doesn't look that spectacular, but when the lights are off and you've got a uh, light inside of it, it looks really neat. And on that note, um, tea lights, battery operated tea lights is what's going to go into that. Or a tiny little uh, battery flashlight would be even brighter in it. I think I might use that for this one but uh, no flames you don't want to use flames in this so I am going to put this aside and I will show you with the lights off and the flashlight on it or the tea light and also I'm going to uh, finish up the other one too in this video before I show that so I can show them at the same time but you can see what it looks like. It's got a bunch of little holes pu punched into it. All right. All right, so my uh, balloon has dried the first layer on it, and now we're gonna do the second layer. So I just have an, a cheap little pie tin from a pie, and um, I'm going to use Mod Podge to do the next layer. If I can get the bottle open, hold on one sec. Okay, so I just used just a little bit. I don't want to waste any of it poured out, and then I don't use it. So um, here is the balloon. It's dried. I'm going to keep it in my coffee pot, or coffee pot, my coffee can. So I've cut uh, two inch squares of, um, doesn't have to be exactly two inch, of tissue paper, different colors, and you pick whatever colors you want. And uh, Dollar Tree carries tissue paper. It's a good place to get some that's not going to be too expensive. And what I do is I want to dip my squares in the Mod Podge, and the, you know they tear really easy, so 
This is more of a delicate thing to do. I'm going to overlap them. Okay, this is what I got so far. Now the tissue paper is really delicate, so I mean an alternative would be um, if you want something different for the kids to use, um, would be like covering it with um, all the white paper, computer paper, or newspaper, and then maybe painting it instead of doing the colored squares of tissue paper. Um, that's just an idea, but I think this tissue paper looks really neat on it. Okay, so I've got it all covered. And um, you could also choose to do the flower mixture again for this layer. Um, I chose the Mod Podge and uh, the one I showed you. Let me show you it again. And I chose this just because it was going to give it a shiny coating and it dries clear. Um, but you could use the flour mixture again for this one just because it's easier to deal with. And, and when I dipped um, the tissue paper in it, I covered both sides of the tissue paper as I uh, dipped it and put it on here. So it would be on the outside too with the gloss. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to let this dry. Um, it's going to take a couple hours. It won't take as long as the other stuff. So, all right, so it's dried. This is what it looks like. You can see the nice shiny coat. And I'm going to put it back in here, center it back in there. And I want to get the top, so. I'm going to put a hole in the top of this in the center. So I'm going to attempt to do it with a, a skewer, a wooden skewer. And doing this, this is for the string, and at the same time, I'm also popping a hole in the balloon. And I'm going to pop a hole that way too. That was weird. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to carefully pull the balloon out of the center. Somebody thought they uh, would race down the street. I'm going to carefully pull this balloon out and it is staying in some areas. I'm going to get a small piece of tape, scotch tape, and I'm going to take my wooden skewer And I'm just going to tape it around the edge real tight to the wooden skewer. And I'm going to go, there we go, I'm going to go through the hole with it. 
and I went through the whole the wooden scare with the tape on it. Excuse me, my dog is excited. Somebody went by with another dog. So I'm going to start tying a knot in the end of this yarn so it becomes big enough that it won't go back through the other side of the hole. So I'm just going to keep going over it until the knot becomes big enough. See, And I'm actually using some yarn that I used in another video. It's like multicolored. It just kind of switches over into colors and I thought this would work perfect for the jellyfish. So I've already done this. I've cut out of the tissue paper, I've cut strips. You can make them as long as you want. And I cut them in the same colors that I have the patches on the, uh, the squares on the jellyfish. Okay, so I've added one and just to show you and then show you the inside. I have a folded it over and I glued it onto the inside of that. And I'm gonna just fold it over that way while they dry. And I'm gonna go ahead and do one on camera. So I'm just using some clear glue, craft glue. I'm not putting too much glue on it, just a little dab. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in about as far as I did with the other one. So you can see when it hangs down. It'll be like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attach all the rest of them until I have the spaces filled up. Um, and you see about how far apart I put them. You can put them as close as you want. You can just design it the way you want, of course. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish that up now. Okay, so I've got them all on there and I'm gonna let them dry flipped outward. Um, about, that's, I don't know, an hour. Okay, so this is what it looks like all finished. Um, I don't have the tea light in it yet. We're getting a nice little breeze, <laughs> make it all move for me, that's perfect. Um, and I'm not sure exactly how well the tea light is gonna light it up, we'll have to give it a try. You can see it kind of sunk in in some areas and stuff. Actually, it looks more like a jellyfish the way it turned out, all kind of sunken in the sides in some spots. So I'm going to go ahead. And the tea light, I am just simply going to uh, turn it on and tape it underneath it at the top and um, hang it up. And when the battery dies out, just remove it. Uh, put a new battery in and tape it back up again. If you've got a better suggestion on how to uh, apply the tea light to the snow in the comments below, um, I'm going to go ahead and wait and it's dark. I'm going to turn both of my lanterns on for you and show you, show you how they look in the dark. Okay, so I did it with the tea light. Let me show you what it looks like. So you can see it does light it up. But I have a little small LED light and it's very bright. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try this one with it. But if I did the, the tea light, I was going to just um, tape it, turn it on and tape it to the top there. Um, and obviously that, uh, the battery would eventually run out and you'd have to put another battery in it. That's why I said I, if there was some more convenient way to attach that, but I'm going to go ahead and with this one, I'm going to tape this and this has a keychain on it too. So I don't know if I bother to take that off or not, but um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tape it just with a couple pieces of scotch tape over it. 
Um, and it's got the button in here, so I can obviously, you know, it's battery operated. I can obviously just turn the button off too and uh, save the power on the button when it's not being used. But we're going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to show you what that looks like. And I have tried it already. It, it looks a lot brighter. Okay, so I went ahead and I taped that LED light up to the top. Actually, I ended up using foam tape. I use uh, two strips of foam tape on the back of my flashlight, the little battery flashlight, and stuck it up there. Uh, the tape didn't seem to be holding to it inside very well, so but the foam tape worked perfectly. It's holding it up, and that's what it looks like finished. So now let me show you the uh, finished uh, Starry Night Lantern. Okay, so here's the jar with the tea light in it. Let me show you with the little LED battery light, flashlight. So there you have the Starry Night Lantern, and you saw the jellyfish. And I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. Bye.